Welcome to Windy Wellington and the WCDC World Cup of Diecast Cars. I'm your host, Matthew Harding. And for the second time, well, second time for me, this is going to be the All-Star Tournament. And why I say second time is because I filmed the All-Star Tournament the other day. Unfortunately, my phone decided to glitch and I lost the first four heats. Um, these are the groups the heats that um, everyone was grouped into based on qualifying. Um, Daniel Mercado is not here because he got skipped through to the semi-finals. Um, yeah, so based on qualifying, everyone got random, uh, randomly drawn into these groups. And so one, the first four groups, you, 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 and you, the footage went missing. And it was really weird. I didn't do anything with it. I'm sure of it. Um, so, I currently have a poll on Facebook asking what to do next, because I'm, I, I don't know. Um, and most of the options involve rerunning the first four groups, because, I mean, otherwise all these drivers are going to miss out, except for the ones who got through to the next round, if we're going to refilm that or not. Um, I don't know. So, at the very least... We're going to refilm those um, first four groups. Then we might take the footage that we've already got. Now, the problem there, but and that's for the next six groups. The problem there is that commentary is going to get a bit confusing for you guys. Because I'm going to be commentating based on what had happened. Well, I'm going to be saying a few things. What had happened previously, what, weren't I? Um, so, uh, I might say, so-and-so, oh, join so-and-so in the next round, and, and, and so-and-so being a part of one of these first four groups, when in fact, when I rerun it, we get a different winner, which, because I cannot, I'm not going to be able to get the right cars to win, not, no, and, and, and I feel like, like that'll be unfair anyway, so, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Um, by the time we get to group five, you might hear me say some things that, based on the first four groups, are not true. So, I, I'm really sorry if that happens, or we might just rerun the whole thing. I'm not sure. Um, currently, the vote is that I just do these four. Um, that's got the most votes, but we'll, we'll see what other people say. Yeah, so, yeah... I'm trying to think of what else I said in the intro, because the intro's gone too. Um, yeah, long story short, um, 40 for 40 last year, we had 40 cars divided into 10 groups like what you see here. And that was done on my birthday, 40th birthday. I just turned 41, so now I've got 41 cars. Daniel Mercado, like I say, is not currently there. I'm actually not sure where I put his car, but we'll find that. Find it. Um, he got pole position, so that's why he gets to skip through to the semi-finals. So, yeah, so we'll rerun these first four groups, um, we'll see what everyone else says, and then we will rerun at least the semis in the final, if not, these back six groups as well. So let's get on with it, and let's hope that this footage doesn't go missing. Also, just quickly, um, additionally, I'm not going to be saying what happened in the first run of this tournament, um, because I might still release... The footage that I have got of the first run um, on top of um, these four um, heats and um, yeah whatever I decide to do so yeah I don't want to spoil it for anyone so anyway while I Elden I Neil is on sorry just needed to um yeah something in my throat while I Elden I Neil on the front right my neck like on the front left so Dave Dobbin and Lord are at the back, and why this group's interesting is because um, the front two have raced each other before, and the back two have raced each other before. I think Kalake beat Ineo in the Champions League, or, or did Ineo win? I can't remember, I'd have to go back. And so Dave Dobbin definitely just beat Lord in the Celebrity Cup. So here we go, lap one of Heat 1, take two. And it's going to be Kalake. Lord's way behind, and it's just Galake. No, I mean, what do you mean, just Galake? Here come two more. I just can't see the finish line. Galake, Iron Neil, and uh, Lord. 
So Dave Dobbin has come off the track there, so he will not get any points. Hopefully these cars race really well today because um, they raced really well the other day, and I was quite proud of that. Um, so let's do it again. Clarke leading, we're a bit blurry, sorry. Clarke followed by Dave Dobbin. Dave Dobbin can't get around. Oh, here comes O'Neill and... Oh, it's almost an exact replay of the order, except Lord flips over. So she'll only pick up one point instead of three. And there is Dave Dobbin down there. So not looking good for the two Celebrity Cup drivers. Right, scores at the halfway point. Clarke is leading on 14 points, while our Eldon O'Neill is on eight. Clarke's at the back. For the next two laps though. Uh, Lord is on third on four points and she's at the front for the next two and poor old Dave Dobbins on zero so he needs to win the next two and I hope Clarke doesn't get any more points at least. And that's Lord. Still Lord followed by Dave Dobbin. Clarke stopped. Oh Dave Dobbin pushes off Lord. And he's the only one who finishes. Right. And Kalake's off the track. So Dave Dobbin is still alive. While our Elder Nine will pick up one point, Lord, yeah, she was pushed off by Dave Dobbin. Well, that's a bit rude. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, last lap. And the points are as follows. Kalake's still on 14. Ineal is on 9, so he's close to get by 1. So he's 5 behind. He needs to win. Um, Dave Dobbins in third on seven. He needs to win and still hope that Kalake gets no points to force a race off. And Lord is the only one out of it. She's on four. So here we go. I'm just going to lead. It looks like he's going to win, but here comes Kalake. I knew wins from Kalake. Dave Dobbins will come third. Lord came off the track. And that means Kalake is going to go through, doesn't it? It also just occurred to me that um, I forgot to mention that the 10 winners will go through to the semi-final plus Daniel Mercado, so that means 11 winners in the semi-finals. That leaves one more place, so the best second place uh, driver in any group will also join them in the semi-finals. They will go through to the semi-final three. Um, the issue is is that I can't off the top of my head remember what the um, other six drivers got in uh, the six second place drivers got out of the other groups so I will need to check that after I do this um, but for now there's Manette Kalake she's through to the next round in there as well at Eldon Ineal who got 16 points so he currently as far as I'm aware, um, is the top scorer, but I need to go check that. Anyway, race layer heat number two. We have, um, I forgot her name in the first one too. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. Um, she drives for Ecuador um, in the Mitsubishi Eclipse. What is her name? Why do I keep forgetting it? We will come back to that. Barbara Zella is over there. No Synchro is in behind Mystery Driver, Mystery Lady, and Sir Dragon is at the back. Oh, come on. What is her name? Um, oh, it's annoying me now, but she's leading, and she's still leading. And she nearly goes off the track, I think. Barbara Zella second, No Synchro third, Sir Dragon's on his roof there. He'll get half a point. Ingrid Vera is her name. Right, No Synchro and Ingrid Vera on the front. Here we go. Black two. Ingrid Vera a good start. He's going to lead. Closely followed by Sir... No, yeah, No Synchro wins it, followed by Barbara Zella. Um, and she... Vera went flying off just before the end. Um, oh, Sir Dragon has crashed into a police car. Not advised. All right, the halfway stage sees Barbara Zilla in the lead on 11 points. Ingrid Vera and No Synchro uh, tied for second on seventh. And Sir Dragon is only on half a point, but he will start from the front for the next two laps. And he's made a good start too, but he's got Ingrid Vera on his tail. And oh, he's caused the pile up, and it's going to be Ingrid Vera and Zella first and second. Sir Dragon wiped out down there, took out No Synchro with him. And that's the end of him. He will not go through. 
Well, it's looking like it's going to be one of these yellow cards because they are both on 14 points. No Synchro is on 7, so he needs to win and hope both yellow cards get no points whatsoever. And Sir Dragon Wee's on only, only on half a point, so he's not going to win. Fabrice Nella leads. Oh, here comes in Rivera. Right on his tail, trying to make pass, doesn't work. Fabrice Nella's going to win it, followed by no Synchro. Not sure what happened to Sir Dragon there. It looked like he got caught up on something. And, well, yeah... Where is Ingrid Vera? She tried to make the pass coming down here, and it did not work out for her. I can't even find her. Um, no, she, I'm pretty sure she went off on the inside, didn't she? Oh no, there she is, down there. So Barbara Zella goes through. And there we go. Barbara Zella joins Monique Talake, while Alden Ainu is still there, because second place was... Um, why have I forgotten her name already? Um, the, the, you, oh, I can't see my writing from here. Uh, oh, Ingravera. Yes, Ingravera got 14. Um, so let's move on to lap three. And I just remembered I forgot. Well, I I, I have forgot, but um, I made predictions before every uh, race who I thought would win. Um, I'm not going to do it for these first four because... I mean, I, I saw what happened in the last one, so I've got a kind of an advantage. So I'm likely to pick who got through, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess this time. Now for lap uh, race three, sorry, we have John Receiver and Eric Z on the front, and behind Eric Z is Enoch Al, and in behind did I say John Receiver? I meant Doctor Paul. Doc and in, in behind Doctor Paul is Insane G. Right here we go. Lap one. Slow start from a knockout. He's got the ball followed by Insane G. He's slowing, but he's still going to do it. Insane G second, a knockout third. Eric Z has got caught up on the wall in the re U turn. Okay, Insane G and Dr. Paul on the front for lap two. Dr. Paul gets the lead. He's very quick off the mark, isn't he? And he is flying down there. He's going to win easily. What's happening here? Oh, three car accident. A knockout gets out of it. Oh, it's Eric C again. Eric C's cause well, I'm assuming Eric C's caused the accident. I'm not sure why Insane G's facing the wrong way, but he is. So both of those drivers will get half a point. Okay, halfway stage, we have Dr. Paul on 14 points. Second place is Anok L on 7. Third place is, on 4.5 points, is Insane G. And fourth place on 1.5 points is Eric C. Lap three. Knock out from the front. Oh, look at that start though from St. G. Well, he did have it. And knock out back in the lead. Oh, he's over. He's caught an accident. We're going to have a four car pile up. So, that means that, well, Eric Z's gone off the track. Eric Z, he's out of this now, I believe. Yes, he is. Uh, half a point each for those three, caused by a knock out. Dear, oh dear. Okay, this is all Dr. Paul Slews now because he's on 14 and a half points. Seven points back from him is a knockout, so knockout needs to win and hope that Dr. Paul doesn't get any points. Uh, Insane G's out with only five points, and Eric Z is out with only one and a half points. Eric Z lead, followed by Dr. Paul. Oh, Dr. Paul, what a pass! What a pass! And we're gonna. We, we've lost. Well, okay, calm down, everyone. Calm down. Um, we've lost Insane G, so he'll only get half a point. But John receives through. He won, followed by Eric C and Knock L. All right, still while our Elden Ineal is sitting on 16 points. Now the fourth and final group of the rerun, at least, sees Kimaboku Gompenchi Dog on the front with Jojo. And then Jojo's uncle, Moose, is behind Kamaboko Gone Pantry Dog and then Yomwood Sound off France is in behind Jojo. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Gone Pantry Dog. It's Gone Pantry Dog is gone. Oh no, he slid out. And here comes Jojo to win. Getting around her uncle. Moose comes in second. Yomwood Sound won't, won't get any points. Gone Pantry Dog will get half a point for just staying on the track with the help of Kelton Raven. All right. We go for lap two. Moose and Gamboko Gompanchi Dog on the front. 
And it is going to be John Panty Dog. Can he stay on his wheels this time? Yes, he can. Followed by Moose. Followed by Jojo in third. And what sound? What's happened? What's going on with him? Second time he's ended up there. Okay, halfway stage. We have in first place Jojo on 10 points. Second place is Moose on 8 points. Third place is Gone Pinchy Dog on 7.5 points. And then Young Wood Sound is on nothing. Lap 3. And it's going to be Young Wood Sound in the lead. The sun gets around that corner, but he goes over. Gone Pinchy Dog is stopped. He's hit the wall. Hit the wall right at the end. Moose got held up by Young Wood Sound, who has. I assume gone down there somewhere. Jojo is missing. I can't see Jojo anyway, anywhere. So one point for Gone Pantry Dog, half a point for Moose. Okay, Jojo unfortunately took a heavy hit to the ground and she has bent an axle, but the car still seems to be running okay. I think with the speed that she goes at, um, the effects of that bent axle um, isn't really showing too much, so she just needs to keep her speed up if she's going to do this. She's on 10 points. Uh, Gone Pinch Dog and Moose are on 8.5 points. They have to do it from the back, though, and Young Woods are under store on nothing. Here we go. Jojo leads, followed by Gone Pinch Dog. See, she goes, she's doing okay. She's done it. Gone Pinch Dog will come second, but Jojo will go through, and Young Wood sound. Young Wood sound. This time, Moose has decided to join in. I guess not to make him feel left out. Well, that's nice, Moose. So unfair on Chris Lowy. Who do I think is going to go through? I think it's going to be Sasquatch. I don't think it's going to be Chris Lowy. I'd love to, no offence to the other three drivers in this, but I'd love to see Chris Lowy go through. It's not going to be him, though. You watch. Here we go. Iron Man and Chris Lowy on the front. Come on, Chris. A slow start from Sasquatch. Maybe I'm wrong. Iron Man's leading. It's over. And Alexander Yuchenko followed by Chris Lowy. And Sasquatch, who had a very slow start, comes in third. Um, where's Iron Man gone? I'm not seeing him. I don't know where he went off. I got it too excited by Chris Lowy. Oh, there he is. He's on the ground down there. See him? There he is. That bright gold thing. All right. Lap two it is. And a slow start from Sasquatch. I just picked the wrong car. It is Yuchenko still in the lead. Oh, Chris! On your roof! Sasquatch gets second. Oh, he's still moving around. Still trying to get that car to the finish line. It's not going to happen, Chris. Um, Iron Man. Iron Man's off again. So no points for Iron Man so far. Halfway stage and Iron Man is in trouble. Not only is he on zero points, and he's starting from the back these next two races, but... Alexander Yuchenko is on 14 points, and he's starting in front of Iron Man for this one. So for Iron Man to get through, he needs to win both these races. He needs two DNFs for Yuchenko, with no bonus points, and he needs to beat everyone else. Um, so yeah, 14 points for Yuchenko. Second place is Sasquatch on seven. Four and a half for Chris Lowy on, uh, I was about to say four and a half again, and then yeah, zero for Iron Man. Lap three. Yuchenko leading again. Is he going to go through? Yuchenko still leading. And he... Wow! That was a close finish. I think that was Yuchenko, Iron Man, um, Sasquatch and Chris Lowy. But I'm going to have to check the replay of that. I really need a finish line cam. Again, that was so close for third. It was definitely Yuchenko in first. Iron Man definitely got second. If I was pushed to decide who got third, I would have said Sasquatch, and I nearly gave Sasquatch third. But the thing is, is that Sasquatch was getting held up by the spun-out Iron Man. So he was trying to get across the line, and he was being slowed by Iron Man's car. Chris Lowy was finishing fast. The last frame I could see, Sasquatch was slightly ahead, but because Chris Lowy was also finishing fast... I've split the points between them, so two and a half points each instead of three and two. It's not going to make a difference who goes through anyway because Alexander Yuchenko has locked that in on 21 points. Second place is Sasquatch on nine and a half. Third is Chris Lowy on 
seven, and last is Iron Man on four. Is Chris Lowy going to beat Iron Man? Last is going to beat first, maybe. Come on. Come on, I want to see that happen. Come on, Chris. He's in the lead. He's still in the lead. He's still, he got to it. Yes, he's done it. Iron Man second. I uh, don't know which blue car came third. Um, I have to check the replay of that, but oh, Chris Lowy. Yeah. Oh. Wow, I, I put in the last ranked driver as a bit of a laugh, thinking that he would be absolutely owned, and that has not happened. He's going to get second place in the group, I think. So the final points for that. Alexander Yachenko, 23 points. Chris Lowy did, did indeed get second place. That is brilliant. 14 points. Four points off of Sir Dragon, of course. So he doesn't go into the bubble, but well done, Chris Lowy. So cool. I'm so pleased that that happened. Twelve and a half points for Sasquatch. My pick. He was just very slow off the line, wasn't he? And fourth place was uh, Iron Man. The world number one. Comes in last. Only eight points. And with uh, Alexander Yurchenko's 23 points, Iron Man only getting eight, that could change the world rankings. We could have a new number one coming. We will see, because he's still got another race to go, and that could change it too. Um, right, let's move on to number six, I believe. Yeah, we're up to number six. Six of ten. First up, we have John Receiver. Speaking of world number one, so former world number one John Receiver. Um, of course, for Jack John and Katie Racing. And, of course, in the Champions League as well. Then we have Izana, Izana Solomon. And that Nissan Skyland. Wait. Not Skyline, is it? It's just a GTR. Yeah, it's a GTR. What am I talking about? I know what my cars are. Um, he was in the Duck Cup and then the Champions League. He wasn't in the Duck Cup last year, but he was um, in the Champions League last year. So that's why he's in. Um, Alexander Yurchenko nearly did what um, Finley Hewitt did. What an epic World Cup final. What an epic finish to the season that was by Finley Hewitt. Four wins from four. If you miss that, wow. You're missing something. Four wins from four. The first driver to do that. And to hand the World Cup to Mexico. Because the other three teams could have taken it. Germany couldn't take it. But Finley Hewitt had a say and gave it to Mexico. And then we have Manvir Singh, who surprisingly qualified quite low. So, the, who do I pick for this one? This is, this is tough. This is tough. Because any of these four drivers can do this. Just based on his last performance, I've got to go with Finley Hewer, I think. But I, th I, th I th said Dragon, you should be worried. Because this is the group where I thought that the best second place driver would be. And I would not be surprised. And you know what, if I'm going to call that, I'm going to give that to John Receiver. Right, here we go. This is going to be close. You watch. Mark my words. John Receiver, Nazana Solomon on the front. Here we go. Oh, Tony Hewitt, slow start. Oh, what? He's gone off. It's John Receiver's going to win. Nazana Solomon. Oh, maybe Singh tried to get around him at the end there. We have lost Finley Hewitt over the back. He fell off about there. That is extremely rare. So he must have come around that corner and caught the edge and just gone, wow, not often cars are going off the orange track. Wow. Well, that was a massive setback for Finley Hewer, and he's starting from that lane again, so hopefully he gets it right this time. Right, lap two. And Finley, don't do it again. Now that's better. He's in the lead. Followed by John Receiver, tries to get around, doesn't do it, and now John Receiver, oh, man, this thing took it. Manvir Singh took it at the end. Manvir Singh, Finley Hewer, Azana Solomon, and uh, John Receiver. Did he finish? I, I was actually excited by Manvir, fin Manvir Singh's finish. I didn't see where John, if John Receiver finished. Yes, he did indeed finish in fourth place. Wow, he, he, he tried to make a move on Finley Hewer. Didn't come off, and as a result, it slowed him down, and he got passed up by Manvir Singh and Azana Solomon. So, the points at the halfway stage, and it, like I said, is so close. Manvir Singh is leading on 10. John Receiver is second on 9. Third place is Azana Solomon on 7. 
And Finley Hewitt should be up there. He's fourth on four points. That first lap DNF looks like it might cost him. He needs to win this. Amanda Singh's going to lead those. Adam Sullivan possibly up in second. Yes, he is. Amanda Singh's off. And it is Zana Solomon second. Uh, Finley Hill third and John Receiver fourth. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I was actually wrong. As soon as I turned off the camera, I thought to myself, did Man Singh actually cross the line? I cut away just before he would have got to the line, but luckily, on as I was watching back, I could see that he was clearly going off the track way before the line. So Man Singh did not win at all. Azana Solomon did, and with Finley Hill second and John Receiver third. So, the the points, and these are very interesting, Azana Solomon's leading on 14 points, and he's got the best starting position too, so it could go to him. Second place, two points back, John Receiver. On 12, two points back again, Manvir Singh. Two points back again, Finley Hewer. So Finley Hewer needs to win from the worst possible position, and he needs to hope that uh, Isanna Solomon gets no more than a point. He has to hope that Manvir Singh does not get second. Or if he does, he um, well, there'll be a race off. And he has to hope that John Receiver doesn't get more than two points. So more than better than uh, fourth or better. So it's unlikely for Finley here. I'm, I'm not going to calculate the other three. Here we go. Azana Solomon on the front. Man, they're sitting with him. It's very close between those three. Azana Solomon's holding on. Yes, he's done it. Followed by Man Vesting, John Receiver, and Finley Hewitt had a slow race. You know what? I, I would have thought that Azana Solomon would have been the least likely car to win that group. So what well on him? Three big name drivers out. John Receiver, Man Vesting, and Finley Hewitt. Wow. That's big. Okay, next group. We are on to number seven. Yes, we are. June June. I think June June's... She's going to reach the final. You watch. With Dr. Paul. She'll win, the, she'll win this. Yeah, I think she'll beat those three. Maybe Yurchenko. Yurchenko could do it. Still Troopson. I mean, he, he could do He could beat her. He could beat her. He could get a, um, 18 points too. Rob Allen. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't say where they're from. June June from the area trophy. Oh, and that's right. Yeah, June June. Did June June and Storm Trooperson meet? Ooh, I can't remember back that far. I'd have to check. Um, yeah, but thanks, random number generator. Rob Allen from the Sports Shield, Plymouth Argyle. And Ego from the Colour Cup. So, yeah, I've, been, I've got to go June June. It's got to be June June. Here we go, lap one, June June, Storm Trooperson on the front row. And very quick start from them both. Oh, look at Rob Allen up in second. June June leads from Rob Allen. Can Rob Allen do it? Not quite. Oh, here comes Ego into fourth. Don't rule out Rob Allen just yet. Rob Allen and June June on the front for lap two. Ego a slow start. It is Rob Allen. And he's going to do it. We've got a pile up over here. June June's flipped over and stopped Stormtrooperson. Ego's tried to get Stormtrooperson going again, but it looks like it hasn't worked. Um, and I feel like if Stormtrooperson could just get slightly more forward, he would be off again. It's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting. No, it's not going to happen. It actually took a lot. Of um, he needed to move forward a lot. I I may have played around with his car a bit. Right, ego and Rob Allen are on the front. Ah, uh, the points are as follows: Rob Allen's leading, eleven points. Didn't see that coming. Second place, June June on seven and a half, but she's behind Rob Allen, and she will be starting from the back on both of these races. And uh, Storm Trooperson is third on three and a half points, and ego is fourth on two and a half. Here we go. He goes on the front though. It is Rob Allen, no, oh, here comes Ego, no, Rob Allen's going to, oh, what's happened to Jojo? I saw it slowing down there, oh, there's been another accident, and Rob Allen wins again. What happened down here? Where's Storm Trooperson, by the way? Uh, I am not seeing Storm Trooperson. I was too busy watching Rob Allen win the race. Not sure what happened down here, but I heard someone thwacking into another car. 
Was it those two? Or was it Stormtroopers and going flying off the track somewhere? Yeah, Stormtroopers and fell off the track right there. So I'm pretty sure he was involved. Pretty. That sounded very English, didn't it? Pretty sure he was involved in that accident. So this is all over. Rob Allen is through. And no one else can get the second best second place. Uh, he, Rob Allen's on 18. Next best is June June on 8. And then we have three and a half for Stormtroopers and then three for Ego. So this is all done and dusted. Let's see what happens in the last one, though. Get some brownie points. Stormtroopers and then June June. Who's third race in a row. June June's crash at the same spot. Rob Allen gets second. Ego third. What is June June up to at this corner? And I don't even know where she's gone. She's gone down there. Oh, yeah, there she is. All right, we have our second semi final. Kamaboko Gone Pinch Dog, Alexandra Yachenko, uh, Isana Solomon, and Rob Allen. Who's going to win that one? Oh, oh that is tough. I, oh, I don't want to even make a call. I don't think it's going to be coming. <coughs> excuse me, Kamaboko. Kamaboko Gompanji Dog, I forgot his name. I prided myself on getting that right pretty quickly. And I've forgotten the name. Uh, I'm going to say Rob Allen. I think Rob Allen will get through. Anyway, heat number eight. We have John Tetley, who has pretty much been an underperformer at the... I can't speak. Underperformer at... Um, this track, considering he is from this area, so he should be doing better, but he did qualify third, he flew down the track, um, and he races for Team Sweden. Next up, we have G-Rex, who was the winner of the 40 for 40 last year. All those, all those cars of, uh, 80, how many did I do? Over 100, um, and she was the winner. Very well done by her. Uh, Chapke, Duck Cup, Hungary. And also, Hungary did decently in the World Cup too. So that's why all three Hungary drivers are here. One of them's been eliminated, Moose. We've got Barbara Zella in the semi so And then the V-Man, who had a very good season last year. He got to two finals. What's it, two? Yeah, two finals. Uh, uh, no, sorry, not two finals. Two, two final videos. Did they get third or fourth in the Sports Shield? I can't remember, but he got runners up in the Color Cup for Team Brown. Who's going to pick? Who's going to win this? Uh, I'm going to go with G Rex. It's got to be G Rex. She's good at this tournament. She's proven it last year. She beat 100 or so cars in this tournament. And I think she's going to win this group. John Tetley and G Rex on the front. John Tetley is doing a lot of our building work. He is the mastermind behind the upgrade, and he's going to win, followed by um, Zolk Chapke, then it was G-Rex, and then it was the V-Man. Zolk Chapke and John Tetley on the front row. And it is Zolk Chapke, followed by John Tetley. G-Rex is in third, and here comes John Tetley. He can't get it done, though. Oh, V-Man's coming third, uh, because G-Rex is flipped over on her roof. Right, the points at the halfway stage. We have a tie for the lead. John Tetley and Zolk Chapke on 11 each. But they will be both starting um, from the outside lane. And John Tetley will have both um, races from the back. Third place is the V-Man on five points. But he's got the front row for both races. And G-Rex is on three and a half. She's in fourth, but she's got the both, both the inside lanes. So this is quite close, it's closer than the scores indicate, I feel. And who's going to lead? It's going to be the V-Man. Oh, very close. Look at this. Oh, V-Man holds off Salt Chapke, and he's going to win. Oh, no. G-Rex again. And John Tetley gets no points. Right, only G-Rex is out of this. The other three are still in. Leading is Salt Chapke on 15 points. But he is starting from the back uh, right. Second place is the V-Man on 12. And he's starting ahead of Zolt Chapke. John Tetley's one point back on 11. So he's four points behind Zolt Chapke. And he's starting from the back left. 
and Jerex is out of this. She's only on four points. So the best she can get is third. Third equal even. Here we go. Who's gonna take this one? Oh Jerex is in the lead. She can spoil it for everyone. Jerex is leading. John Tilly's trying to catch up. John Tilly's off. Jerex wins. B Man's second. Uh so cap case over there. I don't know who does it. Who who takes it? I will go tally up the points. Be right back. The answer to the question is that we need a race off. They both, both Zolt Chapke and the V-Man finished on 16 points. And strangely enough, we also had a tie for third. John Tetley and G-Rex on 11 points each. We won't have a race off for that, but we will have a race off for these two. Zolt Chapke qualified in 28th equal. He, he's always tying with everyone. He tied with Insane G. Now he's tying with the V-Man. And the V-Man qualified way down in 36th. So, Zolt Trapke will be on the inside. Here we go. Zolt Trapke gets a way better start. And he's way out of front on his own. V-Man's actually flipped over onto his lid. So, first race to Zolt Trapke. And remember, whoever loses this is out. They can't go through with the best second place finish because they're two points behind um, Sir Dragon. Anyway, can the V-Man retaliate? Very even start. Oh, the V-Man, is he pulling ahead? Oh, yes he is. Yes he is, and Zolt Trapke's on his roof now. He's, so, opposite result. That was so close, though. So we're going to go into a third race, but Zolt Trapke will have the inside lane. Okay, the decider. Who will it be? Zolt Trapke or the V-Man? Zolt Trapke, surely, because he's got the inside lane. He's ahead. Oh, look at him stretching it out. He's on his roof. Oh, the V-Man's crashed. The V-Man has crashed. We have two DNFs. So we will rerun it. There is Zolt Chapke. We will do that again. Oh, the suspense with these two. Let's try that again. Zolt Chapke again, stretching his lead out. Can he stand his wheels this time? Oh, V-Man hasn't. Oh! Oh, no, we've got a, we've got a track malfunction now. The V-Man's on his roof. Zolt Chapke has spun out. I don't, I, I, the judges can't give that to him, surely, because he was sliding out before he went over that. We've had a track malfunction. So he is stuck on... Yeah. Let's fix that. There we go. Right, OK. We're going to go for the three. Right, this will be the last chance for these two. Unless they both finish in the same area again. That makes sense. Salt Trap K leads. Is he going to keep it together? Yes, he does. V Man finishes not too far behind. Well, well done, V Man. Put up a really good fight there, but Salt Trap K will go through just. Right, so Salt Trap K, first one through to the last semi final. Unless Sir Dragon's going through, of course. Right, our penultimate heat sees. Someone very special to me. Holy moly. Um, one of, well, it's got to be my biggest fan. Uh, to be fair, it's not hard to beat because I haven't got many fans. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. No. Um, yeah, no, seriously. Um, such a supportive person. So much support for the channel. Naturally, she had to be in this tournament. Next to her is Catherine Dijon. Um, another one of those drivers... Um, Originally from the Duct Cup in the first year, um, she drove through. Oh, jeez, who did she drive through? Uh, you know what? I can't remember. It's terrible. Um, oh, no. It's eluding me. I um, also drove that car, too. And I can't remember what tournament I drove it in, either. Let's move on. Um, but, yeah, oh, and also in the Champions League. Angoran Ragefist. How could you not have a tournament with that Angoran? He was in the World Cup. He... Turn three, every time he would flip over there or come off the track there. So he qualified decently and got around turn three. So let's hope he can keep that up. And there's no question about the last driver. Of course, Joe Marquez had to be in this. Of course. Um, of course, we unfortunately lost Joe Marquez last year, um, midway through the year. And um, he drove for Team Mexico. And he won the um, the World Cup for Team Mexico. He got the most points out of that team. Closely followed by Daniel Mercado. But, of course, 
you had to be on this tournament. Who do I think is going to go through? Um, I have a funny feeling it's going to be Catherine Dijon. Funny feeling. De Joe Marquez, though, he's he proved he is such a good driver, but I don't know. I just have a funny feeling it's going to be Catherine Dijon. All right, here we go. Lime green versus silver. Holy moly and Catherine Dijon on the front. And, oh, Joe Marquez, super slow start. Not sure what happened there. Holy moly leads. Followed by Catherine Dijon. Holy moly's crashed and been pushed off. And who won? Who won that? I'm going to have to go to the replay. And it looks like we have lost um, Angron Rage Fist. Not at turn three, at turn five. Holy moly is on the ground somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. Um, oh, she got pushed off by someone. That was a bit rude, wasn't it? I'm 99% sure Catherine Dijon just held on to that. So she gets the win. Holy moly and Angron Rage Fist on the front. And again, slow start from Joe Marquez. And it is Angron Rage Fist. Can he do it? Oh, he's flipped over. Joe Marquez is pushing him. Oh. Oh. You know what? Um, Mad Carthos was saying last night that he was disappointed he wasn't in this tournament because Anger and Ragefist never finishes the race. And I defended Anger and Ragefist. And, well, uh, come, come on now. Come on. That's two races you haven't finished. To be fair, no one finished here. Uh, there's Holy Moly over there. And there is Catherine Dijon. Oh, if only Joe could push... Joe could have pushed him over. That's so nice of Joe. Joe was such a nice guy, wasn't he? And here he is again, trying to be nice. All right, points at the halfway stage. We have in the lead, Catherine Dijon on seven and a half. Second place is Joe Marquez on five. Third place is Angra and Rachel Fist on one. And fourth is Holy Moly on half a point. And <clears throat> she's standing at back <clears throat> for the next two races. So things are not looking good for her. Joe Marquez and Angra on the front. Angron's got the jump. Joe Marquez is having a bit of trouble getting off the line, and Angron's over. And Joe Marquez is going to win. And Angron has held up. Catherine Dijon, holy moly, is stuck up there. Angron, should I have put Madcalf off in this tournament? Right, only two cars are on this now. Leading is um, Joe Marquez on 12. Second place is Catherine Dijon on 8. Third place is, on one and a half points, is Anger on Rage Fist, and on one point is Holy Moly. So those two are out, and only one car will go through. So Sir Dragon is only one heat away from going through. Here we go. Catherine Dijon and Joe Mar um, Marquez on the front. It's between those two. Here we go. Just start from Catherine Dijon. She's got a good lead. Is she going to hold on to it? Oh, here comes Joe Marquez. It's not going to happen. Holy moly, third. Angron Rage Fist, fourth. Catherine Dijon will go through. Okay, Jojo unfortunately took a heavy hit to the ground and she has bent an axle, but the car still seems to be running okay. I think with the speed that she goes at, um, the effects of that bent axle um, isn't really showing too much. So she just needs to keep her speed up. She's going to do this. She's on 10 points. Uh, Gone Pinch Dog and Moose are on 8.5 points. They have to do it from the back, though. And Young Woods are under store nothing. Here we go. Jojo leads, followed by Gone Pinch Dog. See, she goes, she's doing okay. She's done it. Gone Pinch Dog will come second, but Jojo will go through. And Young Woods sound. Young Woods sound. This time, Moose has decided to join in. I guess not to make him feel left out. Well, that's nice, Moose. Okay, guys, we are back to normal commentary. Um, I apologise. I um, There was a um, one of the laps was missing in the last heat as well. So I have to redo heat number 10. So this is the last heat before we go on to the semi-finals. And now in this heat, we have Uman Gentle Sharky. George Bush Jr. and uh, Nicky Nicky Nindles. So here we go with the last heat. And I'm gentle bleeding. And she's wiped out. Here comes George Bush and Sharky. Oh, and George Bush is wiped out. So George Bush blocks Sharky, which 
it's not very helpful for Sharky, is it? And, oh, Nikki Nikki Nine Doors has gotten stuck right up the top, so she'll get no points. Well, Irvine Jen will get half of one here. Let's have a look. Uh, no. No, she won't. Okay. So it's just those two who will pick up one point each. Okay, lap number two sees George Bush Jr. and Irvine Gentle on the front. And Gentle's going to take the lead, followed by George Bush Jr. And she's wiped out, and oh no, again we've had an accident down at the re U turn. And again, Sharky's held up. This is unfair for Sharky, really. Absolutely unfair. He's gotten down there twice, and he's been held up twice. George Bush gets a taste of his own medicine, and he gets held up by Irvine Gentle. Nikki Nikki Nine Doors still will not get any points because she crashed out at turn three. Goodness, Irma and Gentle's car is starting to show some signs of real wear and tear now. A lot of paint chips on the back of that car. Not sure you can see it from that angle though, or that light. Anyway, halfway stage and George Bush Jr. leads with two points. Sharky and Irma and Gentle are on one each. And I've just realised these guys are in the wrong place. Whoops, let's get it right, because um, I was about to say, Sharky starts from the back for twice, and Irmine Gentle starts her last lap in a prime position, which is not true, Sharky starts there, um, and Nikki Nikki Nine Dolls on zero points, so there's only four points between them after two laps, this is terrible, come on guys, let's not have an accident at the U turn please, Nikki leads. Well, they're going to have a next one before it. Nikki's over, and George Bush, and this time Sharky gets through. George Bush flips over, and Sharky this time gets around, and now Sharky is in the prime position to go through. Ermine Gentle's off the track there. Nikki will get half a point, and let's go investigate George Bush. I don't think he'll get any points there. Or will he? Whoa, um, light is in the way. Is he over the line there? No. No, he's not. Okay, so no points for George Bush. Okay, last lap, and only Nikki is out of this, and only just. Sharky leads on eight points. Second is George Bush Jr. on two. So Sharky just needs to cross the line, I believe. Yeah, he does. He just needs to cross the line. He can cross the line in fourth, and he's got it. Um, George Bush on two. Irmine Gentle is on one. And Nikki Nikki Nine Doors is on half a point. So Sharky just needs to cross the line. And it's all done, all over. And he is on the front, and he's in the lead. It's very blurry, it's still blurry. Oh, he's turned around, and he's, oh, he hasn't crossed the line, but it's not going to matter because he's going to get his revenge. George Bush stops because he's like, well, I can't get around that, can I? There's no room. And Sharky's going to go through. Nikki Nikki Nine Doors on a roof over there. Well done, Sharky. Now, we have all of our semi-finalists, except for the final one, which is who got the best second place um, score. Now, Wala Elden Ineel, 16 points. The V-Man, 16 points. But, if you will recall, in fact, no, that was part of the footage I lost, sorry. Um, I ended up having a race off in one of the first four laps um what so the difference between these two is that the v-man got 16 points and went to a race off so he was technically first equal whereas Walla Elden I Neil was second so that means yoink yoink the v-man is in the semi-final so these are our Four semi-finals. Well, Elder Nineel, you are out. Four semi-finals. Daniel Mercado, um, Manette Kalake, Barbara Zella, and Dr. Ball. Jojo, Alexandra Yurchenko, um, Izan Solomon, and Rob Allen. And then we will have the Salt Chapke, Daniel Mercado, um, Sharky, and the V-Man. Oh, V-Man versus Salt Chapke again. That's going to be interesting. Right, here we go, semi-final one. Daniel Mercado and Manette Kalake on the front. Who's going to take this one? Daniel Mercado leads. Blurry, doing not for Blurry today. Daniel Mercado's going to win it. Is he or someone's gone off? And Dr. Paul will come in third. It is Barbara Zella. It was by the 
um, beer fridge. And what has happened? Did we have two fall off down there? We are missing Monique Clarke. Okay, I'll go find her. Yeah, she also came off at the re turn. Right, Barbara Zilla and Daniel Mercado on the front. And it's close, very close. Drop the Paul's getting involved. And Nick Larkey's been left on. Oh, Daniel Mercado's got off. And Barbara Zella followed by Dr. Paul. There is Daniel Mercado, landed on the puzzle. And, oh, so Nick Clarke, no points again. Right, the points are very close at the halfway stage. Dr. Paul is leading on eight. Then we have Daniel Mercado and Barbara Zella on seven apiece. And the Nick Clarke is on zero, so she's got a lot of work to do. But she will be starting from the inside lane for these next two laps. And also remember, I don't think I um, mentioned this um, because it was a, I mentioned in, mentioned it in the last footage, but the best second place driver again will go through to the final. Right, here we go. Dr. Paul and Barbara Zilla on the front. And Barbara Zilla's got the jump, but Dr. Paul is quick around that big turn, and he's going to get lady. He's turned around, and he's going to win. And Manek Kalake just pit, um, sneaks in and gets past uh, Barbara Zella. We are missing Daniel Mercado. Oh, Daniel Mercado is on the edge. Over here. So no points for him. Okay. Last lap, and only the two yellow cars are in this. Dr. Paul is leading on 15. Barbara Zella is on 10, so she needs to win. And hope that Dr. Paul does not cross the line. Third place is Daniel Mercado on 7. He's out of this only just so. Unless he gets that, um, he can also always get the best second place driver. And also, so can Manette Kalake on four. But she has six points behind Barbara Zella. Here we go, last lap. And it is Manette Kalake in the lead. She's done very poorly, but Daniel Mercado passes her up and wins the race. Manette Kalake will get second. And now, Barbara Zella's come off the track, so she won't get any point. And points and Dr. Paul will get half a point. So I think yeah that Dr. Paul through. And then we have Dr. Have it. Dr. Paul goes through on 15 and a half points and Daniel Mercado has given himself a chance. He got 14 points. So 14 is the mark to beat if you come in second place. Like, right, so let's move on to the next seat with Jojo Alexandra Alexandra Yurchenko, Isana Solomon and Rob Allen. Right, here we go. And remember, um, Jojo has a bent rear axle. So how will that affect her, if at all? She's on the front with Yuchenko. And Yuchenko gets a better jump, but Jojo moves into the lead. Can she stay on her wheels? Yuchenko's closing the gap. No, Yuchenko's wiped out and caused a pile-up behind him at the Ryu turn. Everyone will get a point over there, and but Jojo will take seven. I'm going to have to rewatch that because in the end, Rob Allen was the one who ended up upside down in front of Yurchenko. I thought it was Yurchenko who was in the lead. I was too busy watching Jojo to see what was happening behind her. But in the end, Rob Allen was the one who held everyone up. All right, lap two is on a Solomon and Jojo on the front. And slow start from Yurchenko. I nearly fall off the stall. Solomon's leading, followed by Rob Allen. Rob Allen's trying to get around it. He's done it again. Rob Allen has flipped over again, and this time held up Jojo and Yurchenko. And Yurchenko won't get any points. Rob Allen and Jojo will get a point each, but Solomon will take the seven. There's something up with Rob Allen in the Ryu turn, isn't there? And now he's on the front, so this is not good. Don't like the chances of everyone getting to the finish line on this one. Jojo and Izana Solomon are on eight apiece. They lead. Rob Allen is on third, on two. And Yurchenko is on one. Come on, Rob. It's in front of five. He's leading, followed by Yurchenko. And, whoa, he's flying down. And he negotiates it this time. Yurchenko second, Izana Solomon third. Where is Jojo? Uh, not sure. I can't see him. Um, all right. Jojo stopped um, for a pizza. She was outside Pizza Hut. Not really appropriate time, Jojo. Isana Solomon leads on 11 now. He is two points ahead of second place, um, Rob Allen, surprisingly. Then third place is Jojo on eight, so she's three points behind. And Yurchenko needs to win. 
he is on five. He can. He is the only one who cannot go through as the best second place driver. So, yeah, he is six points behind Solomon too. So he needs to win. Hope that Solomon doesn't cross the line. Hopes that he has to hope that Rob Allen three. Rob Allen can't get any better than third, uh, fourth, and Jojo can't get any better than third. That's just for your chingo to get close. He's on the front. Oh, and he's leading. He's still leading. Here comes Rob Allen. He's off. Rob Allen wins. Followed by Jojo and Azana Sullivan. Wow, I think Rob Allen might be going through. Well, let me tally up the points. It's not Jojo. It's either Rob Allen or, or Azana Sullivan. Alexandra Yurchenko. Well, he was leading. And he wiped out. Well, so wouldn't you believe it? Rob Allen does go through on... 16 points. Second place was Azana Solomon on 14. He is tied with Daniel Mercado. So at least one of these four, the, the best second place driver, well, the, the second place driver, I should say, if they get more than 14 points, then they are through. If they don't get more than 14 points, we have a race-off between those two. Lots of race-offs. Right, semi-final number three, and it is a replay for Zolt Chapke and the V-Man. Can the V-Man get Zolt Chapke back for beating him in that race-off? On the front, we have Zolt Chapke and Joe Marquez. In behind Joe Marquez is the V-Man, and in behind Zolt Chapke is Sharky. Let's do it. And it's going to be Zolt Ch Chapke followed by Sharky. And still, oh, Sharky's over. And he's had Joe Marquez crash into him and gone off the track and then held up the V-Man. Um, Sharky and the V-Man will get a point. So Chap Go will get seven and Joe Marquez nothing. Sharky, of course, had trouble with the re-U-turn. Well, mainly another driver flipping over in front of him in the re-U-turn. He's doing it again. Oh, we've lost Joe Marquez. No, he's got going. He has got going, so this will count. And Sharky is going to finish the race, and he's going to be the only one to finish the race. So Chap goes crashed out over there. And we've got the V-Man and Joe Marquez over here. Joe Marquez got stuck, and that is not the first time he's gotten stuck on there or just for this tournament. Um, the V-Man has a tiny bit of his car over that lip, so he will get half a point, but Joe Marquez will not. Hopefully Joe Marquez can get going straight away this time. The points at the halfway stage, Sharky is leading. He is on eight. Second place is Salt Trap K. He's on seven. Then third place is the V-Man on one and a half points, and Joe Marquez is on nothing. Here we go, lap three. And Sharky gets the jump. No, V-Man's in front. Is he? Yes, he's still in front. V-Man's still in front. Sharky's got off. The V-Man's got off. And... Oh, Joe Marquez stalls at the exit of the Ryu turn. Um, there's Sharky. He's crashed out. Outside Pizza Hut. The V-Man is over there. There he is. And we are missing Zolt Chapke. Yeah, I cannot see him. So I think everyone's still in this. Yes, not only is this still anyone's race, but we will indeed have that race off. And if Sharky wins and Zolt Chapke comes in second, it will be a three-car race off. Because Zolt Chapke will join in on 14 points. Sharky is still leading on eight. Zolt Chapke is still on seven. The V-Man's still on one and a half. And Joe Marquez is on one. It's unlikely he's going to get through because he needs to win. Uh, Joe Marquez and the V-Man are on the front. And it's close. No, Joe Marquez is in the lead. He's still in the lead. He needs to win too. And he's going to win. Zolt Chapke's second. The V-Man's third. Sharky's on his roof. So that's the end of um, Sharky's chances. And, well, I th yeah, I think it's Zolt Chapke. I think Zolt Chapke's gone through. Yes, Zolt Chapke did indeed go through. He got 11 points. Uh, Sharky finished second on nine, so he was well and truly behind these two who are about to race. Um, Joe Marquez came in third on eight, and V-Man fourth on four and a half. Now it's the Battle of the Nissans. Uh, Daniel Mercado, of course, has the inside lane because he got pole. 
and um, Isana Solomon is on the outside. Lap one, this is best of three. And Henry Mercado has smoked him off the line. And oh, almost comes off the track, but he survives. And Isana Solomon is not going to finish. I was about to say he is going to finish, but no, he slid out at the exit of the Ryu turn. All right, 1-0 to Daniel Mercado. Isana Solomon needs to win this to keep it alive. And, oh, Daniel Mercado's got the jump again. This is bad for Zana Solomon. Daniel Mercado's a bit out of control. And, oh, they're both off the track. So that is going to be a draw for this one. Um, we'll just make sure that Daniel Mercado's not over the lip of the track. If he is, then he's won it. But, um, I don't think he is. And, no, he's not. Okay. So, it is still 1-0. So, as per the rules, we need to rerun that one. And again, Daniel Mercado gets the better start. He's on the lead. Can he stay on his wheels this time? No! But he stayed on the track. As Arna Solomon has not stayed on the track. So that means Daniel Mercado goes through. All right, here we go with the final. Will Daniel Mercado get revenge on Dr. Paul for beating him in the semi final? Will Rob Allen get revenge on Dr. Paul because Dr. Paul beats him in the final? Of the Sports Shield. And will Salt Chap Cake get revenge on Dr. Paul? I don't know. You, you, uh, there seems to be a trend going on here that everyone is out to get Dr. Paul, so I'm sure Salt Chap Cake is on board too. Dr. Paul and Rob Allen are on the front. Here we go with the final. And slow start from Chap Cake. No revenge there. Dr. Paul is winning. It's blurry. Dr. Paul wins just ahead of Rob Allen. And for some reason, Salt Trap Kate is half over the edge, and Daniel Mercado is upside down. So half a point each there. Right, Salt Trap Kate needs to get off the line a bit faster if he wants to win this. Lap two. He's alongside Dr. Paul. And that's going to be Salt Trap Kate, followed by Daniel Mercado. Salt Trap Kate's over, and Dr. Paul comes through and he was wiped out. Rob Allen's the only survivor. The, um, Zolt Chapke caused an accident with Daniel Mercado behind, and the um, thingy is down there, Dr. Paul. Right, halfway stage, and it is Rob Allen in the lead. He's on 11 points. Dr. Paul is second on seven. Zolt Chapke is in third on one and a half, and only on one point is Daniel Mercado, but he's staying from the front for his last two laps. Here we go. Daniel Mercado and Salt Trap Gate on the front and good start from Daniel Mercado followed by Rob Allen and he's over and a big pile up behind oh my gosh that is the weirdest accident I've ever seen Daniel Mercado's flipped over Rob Allen's ended up going sideways and the two yellow cars have come flying into Rob Allen hopefully Rob Allen's okay is that the driver's side? I think it might be and the ambulance is on the scene but I'm hearing that Rob Allen is okay. He's just got a scratch or two. The ambulance is just cleaning him up a bit. And we will go racing again shortly. Right, Rob Allen is back in, up at the start along with everyone else. He is okay. His car's a bit banged up though. And it is going to be a battle between him and Dr. Paul. A replay of the Sports Shield final. So... The outside lane, the two cars there are out of this. It's a battle between the inside lane. Rob Allen is on 12 points. He is leading. Dr. Paul is on eight. He is second. So Dr. Paul needs to get four and a half points more than Rob Allen or more than that. So he needs to win. If Rob Allen comes third, then it is a tie and we will have a race off. So that's the calculation um, you're four points behind. Yeah, he can't. He can't not win, and he's starting from behind. Uh, Rob Allen, unless he comes second and Rob Allen gets absolutely nothing. That's the other scenario there. Um, third place is on two and a half points is Salt Chapke, and fourth place Daniel Mercado. What's happened? He's only on two. So here we go. Here is the final. Can Rob Allen do it? Will it be Doctor Paul? Let's see. And Daniel Mercado, well, he's in the lead. No, Rob Allen's taking the lead. Rob Allen wants the slow bad. And he's going to get out. He? No, he's on his roof. Oh, so Chapke. 
Well, it's still going to go to Rob Allen, though, I think. Yeah, well, because Dr. Paul has come off the track. Daniel Mercado's on the edge. Zolt Chapka's won the race and thrown Rob Allen off the cliff. Hopefully Rob Allen is okay again. We might need to send that ambulance back down again. But Rob Allen will be your champion, even though he doesn't look like it right now. And there is your finishing order. Uh, no respect to Rob Allen or any of these drivers, but I, if I had to guess this final, I would have picked the reverse order of this. Rob Allen wins with 12 points, second and a half, Zolt Chapke on nine and a half. Third place was Dr. Ball on eight, and Daniel Mercado only got two points in the final. He had a shocker. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it, I really enjoyed doing this, and we're going to do this every year um, in the middle of March. Um, sorry again for the muck up in the middle of the video, and uh, well, at the start of the video really, and um, which meant the commentary was all mucked up in the middle of the video. So please forgive me for that. Um, hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, stupid technology. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.